What's up everyone, Nautique team rider Sean Murray here with the 2022 Super Aeronautique G23 and the brand new 2022 Super Aeronautique S23. Today I'm gonna take you on an in-depth tour of some of the key similarities and differences of these amazing 2022 models. Let's go check them out. First, let's talk a little bit about the award-winning G23. For over a decade, the G23 has been at the forefront of progression in wakeboarding and wake surfing at every level. Its legendary status comes from the world-class performance that has led to more innovation in wakeboarding and wake surfing than any other wake sports boat. After the complete redesign last year, the 2022 G23 comes with a host of new features like the telescoping flight control tower and the supplemental ballast option that make the new G23 even better than before. Now to the brand new Super Air Nautique S23. A completely new model for Nautique, the S23 takes the Nautique performance and world-class quality that we know and puts it into this ultra-modern hull design that also throws a subtle nod to the traditional bow Nautiques of the past. This brand new model is bold, is incredibly functional, and dishes out the best wakes and waves in its class. That being said, let's talk a little about the things that differentiate these boats and the one that stands out to you right away, the hull design. The G23 hull comes from the lineage Nautique created with the introduction of the Paragon models. The wide bow design lends itself to comfortable seating up front, and the faceted hull sides give the boat a sleek and aggressive look on the water. It also has that tall freeboard that Nautique is known for in order to give you that clean, dry ride. The hull on the S23 is like nothing you've ever seen before from Nautique. The aggressive styling and tapered bow design gives this boat an extremely unique and modern look that garners attention anywhere you go. Although the S23 has a traditional bow design, once you step up here into the front of the boat, it's gonna catch you off guard at how deep and spacious it is. So whether you're six foot tall or you wanna have your kids up here, it's nice and deep to keep them safe and secure and it's a great place to kick back and relax. Now, when it comes to performance, there is nothing quite like the G23. The performance characteristics you get out of this award-winning model is the industry's best, with customizable wakes and surf waves suited for every age and ability. With more progression under its belt than any other boat model, the G23 is the gold standard in wake sports boats performance. The G23 is a tall order to compare to, but when you begin to spend time and witness the performance of the brand new S23, it's clear to see the engineers at Nautique have taken what they've learned in the development of the G-Series and created this amazing new model. The S23 delivers some of the cleanest, energy-packed surf waves of any boat in the market, and the surf wave remains clean as you customize it to the user's preference and ability. One of my favorite features here in the S23 is how scalable the wakes are. This allows you to get that super user-friendly shaped wake so that when you've got those young wakeboarders, beginner wakeboarders behind the boat, you can still slow the speed down and get that real nice shape. When it comes to specs, the S23 and G23 remain largely the same. Some of the key differences are that the S23 is two inches narrower, 500 pounds lighter, but it does have 450 pounds of additional stock factory ballast. The S23 does offer two additional gas engine options in the PCM ZR4 and ZZ5, but the G23 has the Yanmar diesel option available, where the S23 does not currently offer the diesel option. Now, both the G23 and S23 have supplemental ballast options for 2022. The G23 has the option to place two additional hard tanks in the midship of the boat. These provide an additional 1,450 pounds and act as additional weight to offset your crew capacity if all your friends can't come along that day. It's activated right from the Link Pan Array touchscreen. The S23 also has a supplemental ballast option in the form of two sacks in the rear compartments with dedicated pumps that are plumbed into the ballast system and will automatically fill and empty via the Link Pan Array touchscreen. These add an additional 500 pounds to the overall ballast capacity. And a great thing about the supplemental ballast option here in the S23 is that even when these are full, you still have plenty of room for wakeboards, wake surfers, and all your water sports gear. When it comes to seating in these models, you'll notice a lot of similarities. They both offer a similar lounge setup with a standard reversible stern seat and flip-up seating on both the port and starboard side of the lounge. There's also transom seating that's perfect for lounging and hanging out back by the swim platform on both sides. On the S23, 
you'll notice these seats are slightly angled just a little bit more inward than the G23, which makes them a little bit more engaging when you're relaxing out there on the back with your crew. The bows are distinctly different, with more space in the G23 for hanging out with your friends, but both models have the bow filler cushion option, which completes the lounge. When you move into the interior of these boats, that's when you begin to see a lot of the subtle differences between the G23 and the S23. Starting with the G23, you'll notice a lot of the signature vinyl textures and thread patterns across the entire lounge and helm area. These patterns and textures are exclusive to the G-Series and provide a level of luxury and comfort you've come to know from these models. When you get into the S23, while the lounge and seating arrangements are largely the same in terms of layout, there are quite a bit of differences in terms of stitching patterns, textures, and materials used. The seats also have a distinct, comfortable shape with support throughout the back and midsection. Here in the glove box of the S23, we have dual charging pads, which allows two phones to charge wirelessly. So between all the USB ports located throughout the boat and these two wireless charging pads, we have plenty of options to keep everyone's device charged and ready to go. The helm area, and specifically the dashboard, utilizes sea deck in areas the G23 does not, like the large pocket area here to the left of the steering wheel. There's also sea deck in other places found throughout the interior of the S23 that makes for easy maintenance, and overall, there's just a lot of subtle differences here in the cockpit and throughout the lounge in the S23. When it comes to adding the thruster to these models, they both have an option to give you more maneuverability in tight quarters, but there's a difference between the two. The G23 has the option to add the Nautique Integrated Steering Assist. This is a stern thruster that can be activated from the link screen, the helm command knob, or by using it in auto mode, where your steering wheel activates the thruster and gives you more control. This mode also has a high and low setting you can adjust, and automatically adjust the output based on your current ballast as well. The S23 has the option of adding the Nautique Steering Assist. This is yet another stern-mounted thruster, but can only be activated from the Link Panerai touchscreen and the Helm Command. While the output settings can't be regulated on this particular system, it is extremely effective for quickly getting your boat into the desired position. Both of these boats come with the exact same tower options. You can get either the manual or actuated flight control tower, or you can step up to the telescoping flight control tower, which comes with the Nautique strapless board racks, the tower-mounted Bimini with surf pockets, as well as four 8.8-inch JL audio speakers and custom enclosures. The Nautique design team is very intentional about head clearance no matter what tower or speaker options you choose in both the G and the S series. So you'll notice when you step into these boats, you've got plenty of headroom no matter where you go. Just like the G23, the S23 also has the option for the extended sunshades. This gives you that extra shade on the bow and stern to give you a place to get out of the sun on those hot summer days. A lot of people want to know, how many cup holders do you have in the S23? Well, we have them located in the bow, throughout the lounge, on the transom, and even the platform for a grand total of 22 cup holders. When it comes to luxury and performance, either one of these incredible 2022 models is ready to deliver for you and your family. While the G-Series continues its reign as a leader in wakeboard and wake surf performance, the brand new S23 provides the exceptional nautique performance and quality characteristics we all know and love, but with a completely new look. Well, we hope you guys at home enjoyed checking out these incredible models as much as we did. For more information on these boats or other nautiques, and to schedule a test drive with a nautique dealer near you, check us out at nautique.com.